we are going to do a review at an Italian restaurant tonight called Gianni's Italiano here in downtown Mount Dora. Now we only have probably three or four more restaurants before we have completed our restaurant review, call it a series down here in downtown Mount Dora. And then we can rank them and tell you which one's our favorite, but it's only fair that we try all of them. So tonight, little Italian. Let's go check it out. As we are walking to the restaurant, there's uh, only, like I said, a handful of restaurants left that we have not done a review at. Goblin Market's one of them. The German restaurant right next to the Italian place we're going to is another one. And some of them know, like there's a little, um, lobster restaurant and then there's also a barbecue place those aren't really like necessarily i don't know fine dining or dining places so we'll decide if we want to put those in there we might that way we can just say we've done them all but um definitely the main restaurants where you actually sit down and get waited on are the ones we are going to be reviewing the place we're going to tonight is actually see where that truck is backing up right up there it's right to the left of that on the left-hand side. So that is where we are going to eat. There's the Magical Meat Boutique that we've done. And just on past that is where Gianni's Italiano is at. After looking online on their website, um, Gianni got his training from Italy. So he's from Italy, so it's supposed to be really authentic. And also, hold on, the music is playing here. You can do reservations on their website. So go to their website, you can get a reservation. Look at this carriage up here. Also, they are starting uh, Christmas decorations. So right here with the red awning, that is where the Italian restaurant is. And just past that is the German restaurant that we haven't gone to yet either. Um, getting close, but looks like a neat little spot. Look at this. Let's see if we can get some hours here. Let's see if I can read it from here. Business hours, Monday six to eight, Tuesday closed, Wednesday four to eight, Thursday four to eight, Friday four to eight, Saturday 11 to nine, Sunday 11 to eight. And it definitely looks like um, a nice little place that you can sit outside at. Where do we want to sit, inside or outside? Hello. So a quick peek inside, there's restrooms right there. They do have a bar. So we're actually gonna sit outside for once because it is just such a beautiful night out. Um, hopefully the music won't be too loud, but she said we can sit wherever you like. Normally we sit inside, but it, like I said, it, it's really nice out here so far. And it doesn't look very big on the inside. They do have an upstairs portion and they do have restrooms right straight back ahead, but it looks kind of dark inside. So in order to see things a little better, we're just gonna sit out here. Now they do not have sweet tea. They only have unsweet tea and they also are currently out of Sprite. So we might just stick with waters, but we'll give the water a try and see what that's like. Um, they also have their wine list here, trying the water like that downtown type of water. So we might have to look for a drink, but here's the wine list. Um, won't be super long on it, but just kind of do a brief overview of the wine list here. Do two pages at once. Looks like a pretty long wine list as well. Hopefully you can see that okay. Pages eight and nine right here. Oh wow. Um, all right, I think that does it for the wine list. So we'll actually look at the menu now. Again, it is such a peaceful evening right now. Here is a look at the menu. So we've got a true Italian dining experience. We've got appetizers. Not sure what we're gonna get today. Um, they got tomato basil soup. 
but I'll hold the camera here for a second so you can see the appetizers. And down here we have the meat and fish options, all served with a side of spaghetti substitute house salad for $2. You have a $4 gluten-free available option, and then substitute items are subject to charge. And then on the back we have pastas. You can add shrimp, add chicken, add sausage. Here are some of the pastas. There's the signature dish right there. I might ask what we should get when they come back and see what they say. Lately, we've been doing that um, just to see what they recommend. So it's not a super large menu. It's actually a pretty small menu, but um, that is what they have. But yeah, I do like, I do appreciate the pictures here. Spaghetti looks really good too. Um, so we'll just see, here you go. This is what I was referring to from their website earlier. Interesting, I'm excited to try some of this. I might ask and see what we should get. So we ask what are some of the things we should look at and this signature dish is what she said is like, it's, it's new, it has some pear, like a little bit of pear right there, fresh pear in it. So I might do that to try something totally different. Of course she said, show down. The penne vodka is good. Um, the spaghetti, I think she said too, mm -hmm. which is what, mm -hmm. you're gonna try the spaghetti, which is awesome. I want one of us to try the spaghetti. You remember what else she said? Uh, I can't remember if she said linguine maybe or something on this side. Rigatoni, one of them, she said is just like your standard safe. Oh, oh, yes, that's right, carbonara she said was safe that's usually what you get yeah and then on this side she said um the pollo piccata right here um she said that's a good option as well and one person actually does grouper piccata i think though like i said i'm gonna go out and try the signature dish now i will say this is probably pretty authentic um i asked if they had lemonade and they do not so it wasn't i was gonna get an arnold palmer they don't have that, um, and they don't have half sweet, half unsweet tea, they just have unsweet tea. So for now, we're gonna stick with water. I guess I need to try the water. It definitely has that downtowny taste. Not the worst water we've ever had down here, but it does have kind of the taste that most of these restaurants do have. Um, but they did have a lot of wine, so if you want wine, this is the place to go. We might be able to see kind of what these lights look like at nighttime too, if the sun goes down a little bit more. Unfortunately, it's gonna be darker earlier, so some of our reviews are gonna be when it's dark outside, but I do like the peaceful music. And, um, oh, they do have basil over there. Look at those plants. Check it out. They did bring us some bread, which looks really good. So we are, smells really good too. We are going to give that a try. So what do you think? You said it's like a garlic toast? It smells delicious. So I'm gonna give it a try. All right, here we go. That is delicious. That is very good. It's like to put a garlic salt on it. That is really good, wow. I'm going to go as far as say, that's stinking good bread. It's like the perfect size and it's perfectly crispy, that is good. I'm glad they bring that for you. I almost ordered the um, tomato basil soup and I kind of wish I would have because I didn't know it came with bread. You dip the bread in the soup and I bet it's really good. So maybe next time we'll do that. I think we'll have plenty to eat since we're both getting an entree. So she said she can bring some um, Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it on the entrees. And unfortunately, they tell me not to put cheese on it because it's got cheese in it. But since I'm a cheese lover, I had her sprinkle a little bit on top of mine. Sorry if that uh, makes anybody mad, but I'm gonna do that. And then over here, look at the spaghetti. That's a lot of spaghetti. So we're gonna dig in and give these a try, but wow, that looks good. And honestly, can you have too much cheese? Like, is that a thing? Because to me, you can't. Cheese is where it's at. I will say presentation wise, that's some of the best looking spaghetti I've seen. And also we didn't salt or pepper any of it either. Um, but you just had- I don't typically do that. You just had a first bite, what do you think? It's very good. Is it very good? Fresh 
good. This smells good, so I'm excited to dig into that. First bite, wow. I don't even know how to explain that because you can taste the pear, but it's just a little tiny pear flavor. I have to say that's very good. It's like, again, nothing that I've ever tried before. Um, let me try one of the shrimp and the shrimp, very large, but that sauce is really good. Uh, very good sauce. And the shrimp is very good. Um, I give this sauce a thumbs up. It's, it's really, never really tried anything like it, but it's really good. Timber's telling me to try to explain the sauce and I really don't know how to. Um, it's buttery, it's somewhat sweet, but it's also not sweet. It's got a pear taste to it. It's like really good. It's something like I've never had before, but I would go ahead and say the sauce is stinking good. I'm typically just an all Alfredo type of person. Uh, this is really good sauce. I'm also gonna try the spaghetti. It's not yeah, the spaghetti is like, what did you, what did you say? It's all, it's fresh. It's, it's fresh. Like overly salty or overly sweet. It's just like a good tomato based yeah. sauce. You can definitely tell everything is authentic. Um, sorry for the spaghetti. When I took a bite, it fell in there. So something cool is um, the owner slash chef, Chef Gianni, chef Gianni uh, has been going around asking the tables how everything is. And we got to talk to him a little bit, told him how good the sauce was. And he said, you won't get that anywhere else because that's his personal creation. So I would highly recommend coming here and trying this as your Italian dish because now don't get me wrong, spaghetti is very good too. But this is something unusual that you will only get here. And I've really enjoyed it. Wanted to show you the inside of one of these with like the cheese in there. I did get another little pear taste. It, I mean, it's very good. And the shrimp's good too, good sized shrimp. Initial reaction from Timber trying one of the pieces of pasta. See, do you know how to describe it? <laughs> Maybe you can help me out. Is it, it's nothing like you've ever had before, right? No, it's like, it has a sweet taste to it. But not at the same, it's like, you like buttery, it? Like a buttery, Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's different. So they don't have a dessert menu, but we just ask what they have, and we are in a little bit of a pickle. Grandma's recipe of tiramisu. So check. Which is my favorite. Uh-huh. Limoncello cake. Yep. Three little cannolis. Yep. Chocolate cake. A chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse right? cake or something. I think I read online it said chocolate cake or something. Creme brulee. So, which is like my favorite. So we're probably going to get two desserts tonight. I'm down to the last bite, and honestly, I'm a little sad. I almost want to get like a straw and drink this stuff, but I am going to soup it up here with uh, bread. So um, she's getting a box for hers, and we're going to get a couple desserts, but again, I can't brag enough about this dish. And there's Chef Gianni right here that came to talk to us and helped other people. So we went with both desserts, and she's going inside to package the food for us, and our waitress has been excellent. So, so far a really good experience. This looks like some of the best dessert though. Like, true story, look at this. And I mean, hand compared to it, face compared to it, like it's, it's very large. And then look at this. Oh man, I'm very excited for this dessert. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. First initial bite. I'm expecting some sort of eye look like she always does when it's good. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, stop. You're gonna get my eye like you did the one time. That you gave me the eye for stealing the cheesecake, you're gonna get the eye for stealing creme brulee. What do you think? Good. She thinks she can steal my dessert. <laughs> that is massive. This is your favorite dessert from an Italian restaurant. Okay, well, what if I do this? <laughs> Here we go. That is top notch there. That is some good stuff. Now for this one, you can 100% tell that's homemade. That's like a homemade recipe. It's good. It's not super overpowering. It's fluffy and creamy, like the, whatever that is on top. Is it like, what you call it, icing? Like, what do you call that? It's not icing, but I don't know what 
I don't know what you call the top, but whatever that creamy stuff is on top, it's very good. You can kind of see how the lights are out here. And here is the bill. So we did the entrees and the cream brulee and the tiramisu, water to drink, $60.96. So that's kind of more of a fine dining Italian restaurant here in downtown Mount Dora. Definitely looks peaceful at nighttime with that sunset in the background. What a fun place, it was good. That was our trip down to Gianni's Italiano restaurant here in downtown Mount Dora. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it, and I also told him the same thing. The thing I got is a top five dish in downtown Mount Dora, in my opinion. Very good, I would get that every single time I come back, which we will be back. And um, there's not a whole lot of Italian restaurants um, in downtown, but in my opinion, that's also top Italian restaurant here in downtown. Your spaghetti was also good. There was a lot of it. We probably could have just shared the spaghetti. Uh, glad the, you didn't, though. Glad I didn't, because that was awesome. And at first I was a little like, ah, there's not a whole lot to this dish, but it was fantastic. And also the little bread pieces were good. Dessert was phenomenal. Um, waitress was great. The owner was great. Everything was good. Sitting outside was very peaceful, very awesome, especially in this Florida weather wasn't really too expensive for a fine dining restaurant. Everything was good. So with that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.